things I like about your club, the, when you go there, there's a poster that I hope it's still there, I'm not sure. But a lot of people would go, oh, Todd and Manny are dirty. Oh, this place is filthy. It's dirty, dirty, dirty. But it's like, look, you're there. So you're dirty too. And there's a poster that you have you guys have there. It's like, you don't have to be calling us dirty because you know you're here. So you're dirty too. So good for you. Just be forefront and be honest about what it is you're bringing. And I, I really appreciate the fact that you guys do that. And so how long have you guys been partners, uh, business partners? How long have you guys been in business together? Uh, we've been 1996, 90, no, 97, yeah, 97, 98. So like 10 years-ish. Yeah, we were business partners at first, but that's when we started working together on things. And uh, describe your relationship. Top, bottom, dominant, submissive, uh, uh, yin bitchy, yang. Ca yin yang, bitchy casual. Who's, who's what? <laughs> bitchy casual. She's the diva. Diva. And what's Todd, Mandy? Well, Mandy, I mean, Todd, I mean, what's your name? Uh, Todd. Todd is a very quiet, strong type. We, we're not together as a, a, a couple. I'm sorry to disappoint you people out there, but You're maybe don't. So there's still a hope. If you want me to blow you later, just let me know. Okay? And I'd be known to lick, too, okay, for the ladies. Just like, I've been, Dirty these people are. That's what the way should come to the I know. This, and you should no, actually we're business partners and, and Todd takes care of something and I take care of the other things. Okay? <laughs> actually one of the one of the things I'm doing on Wednesday nights, if you ever come by for the Mandy Good Handy Comedy and Porn show. Okay, if you come by, I'm, I'm gonna be spanking um, one hundred boys for the year two thousand and nine. Uh, and, <laughs> this is a new class, right? And so it's going to be released on a DVD, and that's what we're going to do. It's going to be fun. And so anybody who wants to be spanked, or whether they want to or not, it doesn't really matter. We don't care. We just that's where you got your name, right? That good handy. Yes, that's where the Mandy Good Handy came from. The good, spanking. Good, yes, yes. The spanking and good masturbating. Yes, it's either one or the other. Is it, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not allowed to say that either. No, no, you can say, oh, let her rip, honey. Oh, okay. You've got to fart, let her rip. Anything you've got going on, you can do it. I don't think I go that state. far, but it's because she's got a little stool anyway. It's like, I notice you got props over here. Right? And kind of Margaret, ladies and gentlemen. This is very good handies right over here. Well, that's for real. Make it, Corey, did you want to demonstrate one of these? Corey is one of our, look at you, you cute little fucker. Okay, Corey is one of the people, he works at Good Handies and he fits right in, so to speak. Uh, good Handies fits right in to him, how about that? No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, he's a, he does bartending and waitering and whatever we need him for. So could you please demonstrate one of these for us, please? You want to demonstrate a little something, Corey? Corey, everyone. You can always turn on Corey for a good demonstration. It makes a difference. So what do you want to oh, do? Small do you want to do a little something? Yeah, did you want to show us how, how this could be used and what is in everyday life? <laughs> <laughs> what are they anyway? They're just like they're the accents. On art. Yeah, it's a little thing. I'd like to apologize to the artist and invention. You only do bigger. Corey only does bigger. Corey only does this. Isn't that so typical of Corey? Come on, Corey. Corey, here's a little prize for you. Yes, give him a prize. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Corey, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a little time for you. Now, let me, everyone, everyone asks about this, and a lot of people, and there's been much written about it, but there is a law, I don't know if it's a bylaw or a law, is it Toronto, Ontario, or Canada? So why is your club now legal? What is that law? Oh, I can't explain that. Um, basically, in December 2005, the Supreme Court ruling related to a swingers club changed the definition of decency, of indecency. Indecency used to be whatever a judge wanted it to be. It was community standard. That was a term that said the judge could decide what indecency was. Indecency now has to be proven to cause harm. So that's basically what we're working with, is that what we do is not indecent because it, you walk, you'd have to prove to a judge beyond reasonable doubt that we caused harm because you saw somebody suck a penis. Like physical harm or mental harm? Or harm, mental, physical, I guess. But you'd have to prove that it caused harm. Oh, but there was that there was that case in the United States where this guy, causing harm, this 
guy walked, he was watching Mary Hart on Entertainment Tonight, and he was like, oh my god, Mary Hart's voice is driving me crazy, so we're going to have to get an aspirin, and he walked into the wall, and he cut his skull open, or something, and he fell, and he tried to sue Mary Hart because of her voice caused him harm. But he actually, that's what those Americans do, they cause lawsuits. <laughs> we're not like that here in Canada, Brian. But so that's how, so it, but is it a Canadian thing, or a Toronto thing, or Ontario? Yeah, it was a Supreme Court ruling, I mean, there's an element of grayness to it, but it was a, it was a precedent in terms of that. That's what we're we just we just went with it. Right. And now there's uh, your club and there's Wicked. Is there any other clubs that have? have kind Black of Eagle has a back room. 